Hello again, my good old friend. Here's a drink to you. Today, I got a special lesson to teach you. It's about I'm the perfect Dodge Master and you are my favorite puppet. That's right. Come here, boy. Nope. Don't go anywhere. Let me electrify ya with my yellow long cosplay. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh you want to put me on fire? Nah. I am pure electricity. I'ma teach you a lesson, boy. Come here, monkey. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Ice and light. I'm an electrifier. Nope, you ain't got nothing on me. I'm yellow long the man. Bam! Slice and dice. No! See through the enemy. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh really? Nope. Oh, you missed. Now let's do this. Perfect dodge for life. But first rock solid. Now I'm gonna teach you how to perfect dodge, boy. Missed. 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 Ah! Three in a row. Per rock solid. Bow! Oop. Ooh, those perfect dodges are so sweet. Stay there, boy. Wait, nope, nope. You ain't gonna freeze me. Who do you think you are? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Go away, oh, you coward. Come down. Oh, you little. Nope. Perfect dodges are life. I'm gonna slice you. Oh, you, what you think you're doing? Nope. Come on then. Get out of the fire. Here's a toast to you again. Come on. Get out of there, boy. You scared? Come on. You ain't got nothing on me. Rock solid. Perfect dodge. And perfect dodge. And perfect dodge. Eat that heavy. Oh, that was not cool. Come on. Perfect dodge. Haha. <laughs> I can school you in this business, boy. Rock solid! Perfect dodge! And another perfect dodge. Eat this! Ooh, it hurts, doesn't it? I got heavy attacks for days. Ooh, you missed! Come on! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. No, no, no! Not against me! Ah! But it works against you. I bet you hate that. Nope! And nope! Ah, oh, you hit me there, didn't you? Slice! Let's get this needle going. Oh, I missed. I timed it. Oh, you missed. You missed again. Stay there for a minute. Oh, nope. What? Again with that? Nope. And nope. Perfect dodges for days. And again. Oh, that hit me. Perfect dodge. And heavy hit right in the face. Ooh, that was a bit chunk of damage, wasn't it? Perfect rock solid. Nope. 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 Ah, ah, ah. How did that even hit me? I'm going to have another toast. Perfect dodge. I'm a schooly boy. Rock solid. For the win! Oh, you dodged it! Oh, I got hit. Oh, no. No. I'm gonna troll you. Bow! <laughs> GG. Perfect dodge for life, bitch. Uh, hello again, my dudes. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kadima. And in this video, I bring you something of a little bit of a different kind of build. This is the build that is designed for perfect dodge masters. That's right, the build itself is entirely designed of making the most out of being able to do as many perfect dodges as you can. And for that, we are going to be using the following equipment. As weapon, again, I'm using the Tri-Point Double Edge Sword Spear, just because it's fun weapon to use. It has a nice attack value and a nice critical hit chance. And the unique effect is also very nice, although for the purposes of this video, I kind of refrain from using it too much. I was more into trying to build up focus to get those heavy attacks coming 
just to make it a little bit different than previous uh, videos using this same weapon. For my vessel, I'm using the Weaver's Needle because it slightly increases critical hit chance and critical hit damage, and also it's something that you can press and use in combat, and it will do a little bit of damage. Um, I know the Platon Fan is a much better option, especially against bosses like the Great Sage and all that, but I wanted to do something a bit different, so I went with the Needle to top it up. For my Spirit, I'm using the Tiger's Acolyte because it moderately increases the critical hit damage. The attack of the Tiger Acolyte Spirit is actually quite nice as well. It does between 2,000 to 5,000 damage, depending if it hits critical or not, uh, but it's nice to have. Um, the equipment itself, and this is where the build is entirely designed around, is the Galeguard um, armor set, which has the perk Gale Guardian. If you fully upgrade it to Mythic, however, it adds something to it. Now, the initial two uh, effects are upon perfect dodges, grants considerable additional focus, and also perfect dodges slightly reduce the cooldown of all spells. So every time you get a perfect dodges, you get focus and you get reduced cooldown. Now, once you upgrade it to mythical, it also adds significantly reduces the duration of invincibility of dodges. So that means that when you dodge, your invincibility is reduced compared to what it was before. However, upon a perfect dodge, it further reduces the cooldown of all spells. So you get double cooldown reduction from the full set, uh, and you also get additional focus every time you get a perfect dodge. So if you are very good at perfect dodge, this is a very good set and a very good build to use. Now, the rest of the armor set is exactly the same. The only difference is that the feet have a unique effect which says performing three consecutive perfect dodges within a brief moment recovers a moderate amount of mana. So, everything put together, every time you dodge, you get, uh, every time you perfect dodge, you get focus, every time you perfect dodge, you get reduced cooldown for all spells, and every time you manage to do three perfect dodges in a row, or in a, or in a, within a brief moment, you get a bit of mana back. So you can pretty much just use this set to use spells, use perfect dodges, reduce the cooldown of spells and get mana back so you can use more spells. I tried not to use it in such a way because I wanted to focus on actually using it for the skill side of it to get as many perfect dodges as I could without abusing the spells. I think I used transformation once just for the fun side of it. Uh, but again, it's all around the perfect dodges, and if you are good at perfect dodging, or if you, for example, you want to practice getting good at perfect dodge, just use this set. Now, for the curious, I'm using three Beast Buddhas, just because I want to have a tremendous amount of critical hit damage. You can go with different things uh, here, no, it doesn't really have to be this. You can use whatever you prefer, to be honest. I decided to go with this for my own um, preference. Now, the Gord, again, entirely up to you, there's nothing uh, extraordinary here. I'm using the Immortal Blessing Gord because it increases the attack for a short duration. Uh, it has 8 uses compared to the 10 uses of the Supreme Gord. The only difference is that you get less, less uh, HP recovery and the attack is increased for a short duration. But I feel comfortable enough in my, in my skills to not need the Gord that much. Uh, for the soaks and drink inside the gourd. Again, you have a little bit of um, maneuverability here. You can use something else. I decided to go with the monkey brew because uh, the long bomb increases damage, damage of the next one attack. I didn't really fancy it. This gets you drunk. Didn't really fancy it. This gives you more health if you are critical, which I never really was. This one recovers mana, but again, I didn't really need it because I already had enough mana coming from the perfect dodges. The Sunset of the Nine Skies gives you more key, didn't feel the need for it. And uh, Pine Brew and Lamb Brew, again, didn't really feel the need, so I just went with the simple choice of the Monkey Brew. For the soaks, I'm using the Bee Mountain Stone. Obviously, this is the best soak in the game. Fruit of Dao, which moderately extends the duration of dodge invincibility. This is a way to try to deny the reduction you get from the set. And the Tiger Relic to moderately increase critical attack chance. Now, let's take a look at the Sparks distribution. 
for the relics, uh, I'm using the Keen Insight, which can see increased critical hit damage. I'm using the Whiskly Wind for the Fuming Years, which increases attack after a perfect dodge, which perfect for this build as we are focused on just getting perfect dodges. Uh, the Hillbreeze Nose with moderately extends the dodge invincibility duration. Again, trying to counter the side effects of the armor, which is working perfectly. And Envious Tongue, I'm using the Tongue of a Connoisseur, which increases uh, HP recovery for each soak in your drink. And Grief Body, just everlasting vitality. Didn't really feel the need to have any of the other twos. I was fine with that. For the abilities, everything into stamina, because with the perfect dodges, you want to make sure you have the full stamina tree. Especially because at Vengeful Mirage, perfect dodges leave an illusion in your wake, which explodes instantly, dealing damage to nearby enemies. And these can crit as well. And not only that, if you have 3, 4, 5 perfect dodges in a row, you, you leave five, 3, 4, 5 mirages in a row. Every time you get a perfect dodge, no matter within how much uh, distance between perfect dodges, you always get um, an illusion. Again, Emerald, Ephemeral Shadow grants considerable amount of damage reduction for a short duration after a perfect dodge. So we are so focused on perfect dodge, this is a must have. Vigilant Heart, each talent more increases focus gain from perfect dodges. Again, this will top up with the armor set, getting you tremendous amount of focus every time you get a perfect dodge. Now, this one doesn't really matter, but I want the follow-up, which is each talent considerably increases stamina recovery rate when health is above half, and we are above half most of the time. For martial arts, full investment, except for the last one on the left side. I don't really use the mobile spin much. Then we got survival investment, the max mana, critical hit damage, and attack. For the staff stances, I got everything on the left side, obviously. And Thrust stands fully upgraded because I'm using the Tri-Point Spear. Mysticism, no investment, there's nothing needed here. Alteration, I went with Rock Solid for my spells um, and Immobilize just for the combo. Uh, there's no point using Spellbinder because I want to use the Rock Solid and if I use the Spellbinder, there's no point having this armor set at all. So Immobilize is a good choice, although no investment is needed. I didn't really want to abuse it for my build. Rock solid however, very solid spell to use. Strand pluck of many, again you can invest points here if you want, I tried not to use the duplicates at all, I wanted to be just me and the great sage fighting each other, no, uh, no interference by the duplicates and that's how I rolled. And then again in the last section, Moon Realm, each talent level uh, moderately increases the damage of the next attack after a perfect dodge. Now, here's a bit of strategy if you try to use this build. As you are dodging, uh, uh, one thing that you can try to do is when you perfect dodge, try to do it backwards, for example. And then as soon as you have enough focus points, if you do it backwards and then do a heavy attack, it releases an instantaneous attack, which does a tremendous amount of damage. So you should try that out. It also works with rock solid. If you do a rock solid and immediately follow with a heavy, it does an uh, instant uh, heavy attack that does a, a tremendous amount of damage. But enough said, you watch the first example, I'll let you watch another example of how to use this against the Great Sage. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe, I appreciate all the help I can get. And I'll see you in the next build video. Take care. Cheerio!